US Navy destroyer USS Wayne E. Meyer has navigated into the South China Sea and has confronted Chinese claims in the disputed waters. In a statement, 7th Fleet Commander Rian Momsen stated the destroyer USS Wayne E. Meyer challenged restrictions on innocent passage in the Paracel Islands north of the Spratlys. She added, Operations are conducted peacefully and without bias for or against any particular country. China says that it has indisputable sovereignty over the area. Viewers may note that the U.S. conducts freedom of navigation regularly. In these operations, the U.S. warships navigate close to some of the islands China occupies, including man-made islets, asserting freedom of access to crucial international waterways. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Chinese military didn't get in the way as USS Wayne E. Meyer moved into Paracel Islands in the South China Sea. Let's get into details. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support, so grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. USS Wayne E. Meyer DDG-108 is a United States Navy Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer. The class is named after Admiral Arleigh Burke, an American destroyer officer in World War II and later Chief of Naval Operations. Arleigh Burke class warships are designed to be capable of performing multiple missions. These can carry out anti-aircraft warfare AAW, anti-submarine warfare ASW, and anti-surface warfare ASUW. USS Wayne E. Meyer was commissioned on the 10th of October 2009. She's named after Rear Admiral Wayne E. Meyer, known as the Father of Aegis. She carries the 100th Aegis weapon system to be delivered to the United States Navy. USS Wayne E. Meyer, being an Arleigh Burke class destroyer, is among the largest destroyers built in the United States. It has an overall length of 155 meters and displacement of about 9,200 tons. The Arleigh Burke design incorporates several stealth configurations like angled rather than traditional vertical surfaces. It makes these warships hard to target by anti-ship missile. For propulsion, it has four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines generating 75 megawatts of power, driving two shafts. It has a speed of 30 plus knots or around 55 kilometers per hour and a range of 4,400 nautical miles or 8,100 kilometers. The Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyer is the United States Navy's first class of destroyer to be built from the ground up to incorporate the Aegis combat system. The Aegis ballistic missile defense system is designed by the United States Department of Defense, Missile Defense Agency, to protect against short and intermediate range ballistic missiles. Aegis ballistic missile defense is devised to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to reentry. It enables USS Wayne E. Meyer to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles by expanding the Aegis combat system with the addition of the ANSPY-1 radar and standard missiles. Aegis BMD-equipped vessels can transmit their target detection information to other systems and, if needed, engage potential threats using either the SM-2 or SM-3 missile. The centerpiece of the Aegis system is a very powerful multi-purpose ANSPY-1 radar. It's considered to be one of the most advanced naval radars that can automatically detect and track targets. 
The high power of 4 megawatts enables it to simultaneously track over 100 targets and guide missiles. Traditional search radars have rotating antennas that can track a target once during every 360 degree sweep. A separate tracking radar is required to guide missiles to a particular target. InSpy 1 radar is different. It incorporates the two functions into a single tightly integrated system. The four fixed arrays of SPY direct electromagnetic beams in all directions concurrently and continuously. So the targets are tracked without interruption. The radar can be made to focus onto a single target when needed without blinding the warship against other threats. This enables the radar to create a very holistic view of the surrounding, providing an unprecedented situational awareness. Wayne E. Meyer has ANSQS-53C sonar array. This is the latest variant of ANSQS-53 series sonar. The sonar set ANSQS-53C is a computer-controlled surface ship sonar that can work in both active and passive mode. It can provide precise information for anti-submarine warfare control and guidance. It has a hull-mounted transducer array that can be used to detect and track multiple targets simultaneously. The ANSQS-53C provides greater range and detection capability when compared to earlier versions. It also only has half the electronic components and weighs in much less than its predecessors. USS Wayne E. Meyer also has ANSQR-19 Tactical Toad Array Sonar Tactus. The ANSQR-19 provides very long-range passive detection against the enemy submarine. Tactus deploys a long cable full of microphones that's towed about a mile behind the warship. These can detect the noise emitted from surface ships and submarines and track them. USS Wayne E. Meyer is one of the most heavily armed destroyers in the world. It's designed to be a multi-weapons platform and is capable of dealing with various kind of threats. USS Wayne E. Meyer has in total 96 cell Mark 41 vertical launch system VLS, divided into two blocks of 32 and 64 cells. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons based on the mission. One. BGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missile for land attack. 2. RIM-66 Standard Missile 2 SM-2 Surface-to-Air Missile for Air Defense. 3. RIM-161 Standard Missile 3 SM-3 for Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense. 4. RUM-139 VL ASROC Missile for Anti-Submarine Roll. 5. Each VLS cell can also be quad-packed with RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow Missiles ESSM. The ESSM is designed to protect ships from attacking missiles and aircraft. It can also be used as a high-speed anti-ship missile. It also has two Mark 141 Harpoon Missile Launchers for anti-ship roll. It has a range of 70 to 150 miles depending on variant. The ship is equipped with two Mark 46 triple torpedo tubes. Mark 46 torpedoes is a potent weapon and can potentially cripple any ship with one strike. Two MH-60R Seahawk Lamps III helicopters are also present for anti-submarine warfare. Other than that, it is equipped with a long-range naval gun for close-range offense. It also has Phalanx close-in weapon system for last-ditch missile defense. USS Wayne E. Meyer is an all-rounder when it comes to offensive capability, and this makes it a strong foe for any opponent, including the Chinese Navy. The destroyer packs a punch and can hit back very hard if there's any misadventure from China. Given its capabilities, it's natural for Chinese Navy not to step in. Though China may put up a brave face and register some verbal complaints, it will not have the willpower to take on USS Wayne E. Meyer. On a larger context, the continued freedom of navigation exercises by the U.S. military indicates that the U.S. will not bow down and will take China head on. Thanks for watching. 
Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.